Good morning, Jay, Nicholas, and Chris Daughters at the Caddis Fly, cranking out some awesome winter steelhead flies. A lot of these, Chris says, hey Jay, is this a winter steelhead fly or a summer steelhead fly? And I say, well, it depends. They can be used for both. This happens to be one I would choose to use principally in the winter. This is the Enhanced Polar Shrimp. Polar Shrimp is a tried and true uh, in this region and up in Alaska as well. I fished these for years. They always have. They always work then. They always work now. We just we're sprucing these up a little bit this year, 2012, with some hot tipped crazy legs there. Uh, we're still going to use our standard old chenille. So you notice a hot bead. This this is not going to go on the head of the fly. Um, the traditional fly was either not weighted, or when it was weighted, it was weighted with lead under the body. This one here, I'm going to show you how you can put this tungsten bead in there. It's easy to use and very effective. Let's see, is this going to be about right? That's going to be about right. Let's go one more turn. I don't know how one turn turns into two turns. So check this out. We're actually going to tie this off. Trim our thread. We're going to push that bead right back against the body. And we're going to start our thread over again. I usually forget to use thread when I'm shooting these videos, but I remember that time. So we're going to throw on a hot orange saddle hackle here as a collar. You could use schlappen very nicely, whatever you happen to have at hand. I like to tie these in by the tip. So if you're tying a polar shrimp with rubber legs to fish in very soft water, the inside seams, let's say the water's high and the fish are in close, I would not put this tungsten bead on because your fly is going to settle out and sink to the bottom. But if you're fishing this out in current, the tungsten bead is really nice because it will help Get your fly down and you can even fish this on a dry line. Toss it out into a pocket and it'll stay right there. So Chris, here's my white arctic fox. Here it is coming right up. This fly was originally tied with, uh, boy, back in the real old days, polar bear fur or bucktail, white bucktail or calf tail. Arctic foxtail is really nice. Um, it breathes. It flows in the water. Put that wing on. That's about right. You stack this stuff, or it comes out pretty straight. No, you don't. You don't. Arctic fox, you can't stack it. Even if you could, you wouldn't need to. And it's really easy to secure because it compresses very nicely. Now, that said, let me pull on this a little bit. We're good. That's one of the things about Arctic Fox that makes it so nice to tie with is it, it compresses so nicely you can put a wing in and it, you know it's going to stay. So I'm going to put on, you could finish right there, but just for fun I like to add couple strands of crystal flash. And notice how I just pulled it over there so it's not going anywhere. A couple strands of crystal flash and a couple of strands of this holographic pink flashaboo as a topping. And this material also you could just tie it in 
you don't have to loop it the way I am because it does compress and it will stay. It's just a nice added touch to fold it over. So here you have the Polar Shrimp Enhanced. It has a wiggly rubber leg tail. It has a tungsten bead. It has a little bit of topping. It's still the basic tried and true Polar Shrimp of days past.